Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I am going to create a project where I will show you how to use, how to use at the rate required on Tracer in Spring. So here is the Eclipse. Let's go ahead and create a Java project in Eclipse. Give the project name a Spring. <coughs> required annotation click on the, click on the next and finally click on the finish button now right click on this project go to the build path configure build path select libraries add library and select user library finally select this spring defined user library so all spring related jars i have added in my project class path now right click over here change the compiler version here 1.7 say yes now let's create first uh, a spring configuration file so search for xml <coughs> sorry give the file name beans dot xml and here is the java doc type now let's create a class bean class in package com dot info take dot model and class name i would give message For simplicity, I am going to add only two fields int message id and second field I am going to add message itself which is type of a string. Now create the corresponding setters and getters method. Save it. Now let's create a um, client program in package com dot infotech dot client and give the client name as a test. Select main method over here. Now before that, before completing, before doing the code in client program, uh, let's let's complete our configuration file here i'm going to initialize our bean bean id equal to message and class equal to qualified name of bean class so that is com dot infotech dot message this qualified name com dot info tech dot model dot message this is the actual class qualified name now this class contains two properties first property we have a message id so let's initialize this message id with some hello something like this second property we have a message itself so property name equal to message and value equal to welcome to spring vault now let's complete our client program so here context equal to new class path xml application context this is the one of the implementer of application context interface here we need to pass our spring configuration file name which is in src folder so 
base.xml now we may use get win method of application context so there are a lot of overloaded method of get win so among all I'm going to use this one this takes first parameter as the bin id and second parameter you need to pass the class itself and this api will return you the your business object and here i'm trying to print the uh, in sop let's try to print message id and message message id and get message and finally i'm going to close this application context so close method is not available in application context that is available in abstract application context so cts i mean application context you need to typecast into abstract application context then you'll get this method which is available in abstract application context now let's run this application okay so here this application is running successfully now i want to make use of at the rate required annotations so basically at the rate required annotations that which that will enforce you to initialize some property like here if i do not initialize this property then and if i run the client program then uh, default value of message that is nothing but the null that will be initialized so look at here so we are getting the null but in some this scenario if you get the message id and and uh, corresponding message is null then this might be not meaningful so i would like to uh, restrict if someone is supplying message id then uh, then they have to supply message as well so i want to make message as a required field so in model class go to the before the setter of message and here you can apply at the rate required annotations uh, which is available in arc.spring framework.beans.factory.annotations.required this is on a spring provided uh, annotations but by default uh, by default annotations are not enable, uh, enable in uh, a spring so you have to enable it by writing uh, one tag is called context colon annotation config make sure that your uh, xml doc type contains this namespace context namespace then you will get this tag over here okay so now i am enabled uh, annotations in my application if i run this application now you will get an error right so it's, it, a spring is throwing an error saying that uh, earlier it was not throwing error right now message defined in the class resource property message is required for bin so now uh, we have made this field as required means mandatory so until unless i do not supply the message then this will throw an error so this is just enforcing if you are setting the id then corresponding message also will have to initialize if i run after uncommenting the code if i run it then it's running fine so i hope you guys understood what is the use of at the rate required annotations so if you want to make some property as mandatory one then at the rate required annotations you may use before the setter method of the properties so that's all i wanted to show you in this video tutorial if you like my video then please like and subscribe it thank you for watching my video see you in next video